you're installing a retaining wall, you want to make sure that the wall is standing long after you're gone. And that's why you need to get the most important step done perfectly. We get asked all the time, what's the most important step? And here's what these contractors say. The wall only is as good as its base. Be really picky on your base. It's very important to get the first row of blocks put in uh, properly. Put your first layer absolutely perfect. I can't even explain how critical it is to be perfect on the base course. The base course is where you set the stage for the rest of your wall, so it's critical that you get it installed properly. And following these steps will also help the installation process go by way faster. To access all of the details, just check out the ReadyRock installation guide. Before getting started, take a look at the pre-construction checklist in the guide to make sure that you have everything ready to go. Also make sure that you are following all of the safety precautions and guidelines. All right, let's get started. First, remove existing soils to the bottom of the leveling pad elevation for the retaining wall. Make sure you remove any organic, unsuitable, or disturbed soils that fall in along the base of the wall or the back of the excavation. Now, compact the subgrade soils to match the density as specified on your engineering plans. Next, it's time to build your leveling pad. You can use concrete to do this, but the most common solution is designed using crushed stone that is one inch diameter or smaller. The standard leveling pad is six to 12 inches thick and extends at least six inches in front and 12 inches behind the bottom block. The wall drain is frequently installed at the same time you're installing the leveling pad, so make sure to check your design for details. Compact the leveling pad in six inch lifts to create a level base for your first block. You can use a laser level or a transit to help you achieve proper elevation. Your plans will give you specifics on the minimum density you need to achieve, but when compacting, you should do a minimum of three passes with a walk-behind vibrating plate compactor. Once you have the leveling pad done, it's time to set the base course. Before you set any blocks, mark where the wall is going to go. Sometimes you can mark the location of the wall directly on the leveling pad. Other times, you might need to mark offset locations. A string line or offset stakes are great tools to use here. The wall construction should start at a fixed point, such as a building wall, a 90 degree corner, or the lowest elevation of the wall. Now place the block on the leveling pad using an excavator. It's common to have a laborer present to help guide blocks into their position. Each block should be in full contact with the leveling pad and any adjacent blocks. For block alignment, use the form line where the face texture meets the steel form finish area at the top of the block. Check each block for level and alignment as they are placed. Small adjustments to the block location can be made with a pry bar or a Berkey bar. If you're installing a reinforced wall with the ReadyRack PC system, now is the time where you would install the GeoGrid strips. Check the installation guide for more details. Next, you'll place a piece of non-woven geotextile fabric in the vertical joint between blocks to prevent drainage from coming through. Then, place stone between the blocks and at least 12 inches behind the wall in loose lifts, making sure to compact each lift as you go. If you're installing PC blocks, you'll also need to fill the vertical core slot with stone. Place non-woven geotextile fabric between the drain stone and the remaining backfill material if specified. Backfill behind the drainage aggregate with material as specified, compacting each lift. Before you move on, recheck all of the blocks for level and alignment, and also sweep the top of them clean before you set the next row. Now that you've got the most important part of your wall done, the rest of the installation is a piece of cake. You can get details on how to install the rest of your blocks in the ReadyRock installation guide.